Hundreds of thousands of people are stopped, questioned, frisked, embarrassed, humiliated, and unlawfully searched uh, every year in the city of New York. And as a result of these stop and frisk encounters, what has been happening uh, is that there are young people or others who are approached by police officers uh, and asked to empty their pockets, show us everything that you have in compliance with that order, the handcuffs go on. Now because of the change in law that was done in 1977, had the marijuana remained in their pocket, it would not have been a crime at all. But as a result of the officer's actions, uh, marijuana is being lifted into plain view and these illegal arrests are being made. It's classic entrapment. As a result, uh, with myself carrying legislation in the assembly and Mark Grisanti, uh, an upstate Republican from Buffalo, carrying legislation in the Senate uh, to finish the job that we started in the legislature in 1977 uh, by reducing the classification of possession of small quantities of marijuana even in plain sight or public view uh, from a misdemeanor to a violation. There are tens of thousands of people each and every year uh, who are being arrested and unfortunately it's only happening in certain communities. 85 percent of the people who are arrested are black and Latino. Yet studies consistently show uh, that affluent younger whites in particular use marijuana in equal if not greater numbers. Uh, but it cannot be the case that marijuana possession is a crime for some folks, uh, but it's not a crime for others. When the dividing line is race. And there have been mayors and governors and presidents, all of whom have acknowledged to using marijuana uh, when they were younger. We didn't criminalize those individuals, we should stop criminalizing tens of thousands of young people for doing the same thing.